If you would like to request a video, send an email to questions at newstitchaday.com. This episode of New Stitch A Day is brought to you by Webs, America's Yarn Store. Find your favorite yarns and save up to 25% off your purchase every day. No code needed. Visit webs at www.yarn.com. How to knit the honeycomb brioche stitch, English style. For this stitch, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor Lion Brand for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their extra soft wool blend from the Martha Stewart's Crafts line in the color Winter Sky. For this stitch you will need to know the following techniques. Knit, knit two together, knit one below. To begin this stitch you must cast on in multiples of two. Now for this pattern I'm going to be using a selvage stitch on the beginning and the end of the row just to make it a little bit easier to knit the pattern in between those two stitches, but you don't have to do that. Row 1. We're going to begin by knitting 1. Okay. Then we're going to knit 1 below. And to knit 1 below, we're going to, instead of going into this stitch right here, we're going to go into the hole that's right underneath it, so you can see where this stitch crosses the stitch, we're going to come right underneath and knit that stitch. Okay, so we're going to repeat the knit one and knit one below until the end of the row. Row two. We're going to take the knit one below that we did on the other side and we're going to pick up that top stitch and we're going to knit it together with the stitch that's already on the needle. So you, I usually just pick it up and then pick up the stitch on the needle and knit them together. You may want to place the stitch onto the needle and just knit through that hole there and pull it through like that. Okay, then we're going to knit one. So we're con gonna continue knitting this top stitch together with the stitch on the needle and knitting one until the end of the row. Row three, we're gonna offset what we did on row one by knitting below first and then knitting one. So we're gonna continue knitting below and then knitting one until the end of the row. Row four, we're going to begin by knitting one and then we're gonna pick up the top stitch of our knit one below from the other row and knit that together with the stitch on our needle. So we'll continue knitting one and then picking up the stitch. Here's it with it on the needle. Remember we want to get this hole that's in this cross here and knit those two together until the end of the row. So repeat rows one through four until you have reached your desired length. And that's how you knit the honeycomb brioche stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more New Stitch A Day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com. New Stitch A Day is a craftery media production. Check out our other shows at fiberstory.tv and yarntripper.com. This video is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution No Derivatives 3.0 Unported License, which means use it on your website, put it in your patterns, but please don't change anything.